uh, MG Midget, birth of a race car, capturing my journey from car restoration to the 2022 MG Car Club Speed Series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be applying some top coat to the car. Again, I think it's worth pointing out that uh, I'm not a professional sprayer. You know, this is really the first uh, car that I've really tried to, to paint, and uh, my learning has been mostly through internet research. And, uh, and YouTube videos, but certainly that's given me the confidence to have a go. Uh, and certainly in terms of my plan of attack, I've finished the primer coat now, that was in the last video. And in this video now, I've uh, tack cloth bodywork, uh, I've panel wiped it, we're ready to go. So I'm going to be mixing up some teal blue paint in a 50-50 mix, and then applying that to the car. My aim is about to get to about seven to eight, maybe even nine coats, so I can cut that back afterwards starting first with a blow over adhesion coat uh, then a couple of wet coats. I'm going to leave that overnight uh, to let it dry and then come back tomorrow and do a further three or four wet coats and to finish I'm going to be adding more thinners than the 50-50 maybe go for a 70-30 uh, mix uh, just to try and achieve a gloss finish at the end and that will be ready for flatting. So that's what I'm going to do first so uh, let's get that first tack coat on. After some internet research, I've decided to go for a, a Sealy 701G gun with a 1.4 nozzle. I've put myself a, a water trap on the nozzle and also set up the compressor with a, a regulator and water trap to run the, uh, the spray gun at around 50 psi. So I, th I think I've got a fairly good setup. For top coat, I'm going to be using a, a 1.4 millimeter nozzle running it around. 40 PSI using a 50-50 mix of thinner and top coat. Uh, the body works primed, it's ready for its first blow over. This is uh, 600 grit flatted, so uh, let's get that first blow over on. So that's the first coat on, just really a blow over. Uh, as you can see, no real depth of color. You can still see the primer through it. Uh, and the purpose of this coat is just to give the body a bit of a key for the wet coat that is to come. So I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then we'll get a wet coat on. So after the second coat, the colour's really starting to come through now. Even starting to get a little bit of shine, although that's premature. Uh, what I'm going to do is one more wet coat, put a nice thick wet coat across the bodywork and then uh, leave it to dry overnight before coming back and then tomorrow morning I'm going to be putting on another four to five coats to really build up the paint ready for flatting back but uh, already you can start to see the, the colour coming through. Day two, uh, we've got three coats on now, I'm going to go for another four. Got the paint mixed up, 50-50 mix with premium thinners, going to load that into the the gun and then uh, we'll get coat number four on. All done after eight wet coats. Got a nice deep colour across the car now so I'm going to let it dry and then uh, we'll have a go at flatting uh, and, and cutting back. First step after paint has been flatting so I've gone over the car with uh, 1500 wet and dry. So as you can see, we've gone all over the car. Uh, the paint, as a result, is looking quite dull, but we've lost a lot of the, uh, the high spots and the orange peel that was on there. So uh, that's ready now for the next step. I'm gonna get the, the dual action polisher out uh, and use a compound. Uh, so I'm using uh, the Meguiar's compound. Uh, I'm gonna run over that to uh, give it a final cut back before then applying some of the uh, Meguiar's polish to the car. So uh, I'll uh, show you what it looks like after the, uh, the compound rub. After the uh, compound, we've got the shine starting to really come through now. So what I'm gonna do is go around again, this time use the polish on the dual action polisher. Uh, to try and really bring up as much shine as I can. So after the polishing, I've spent about half a day 
now uh, running over the bodywork with the, the dual action polisher with the cutting compound. Uh, you can see we've got a nice smooth finish. I've run over the car now with uh, polish uh, and a dual action polisher. Uh, I mean in terms of the polisher I'm just using a fairly basic uh, polisher. I'm using the, the red pads. Uh, I'm using a, a foam wetter to keep nice moisture in the uh, in the pad uh, and then I'm using the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. I've run over the car once, uh, that's come up well, got a nice shine to it now all over uh, so now we're ready to give the car some protection. To give the car some protection I'm going to use uh, this AutoGlim product. Again I'm not endorsing this, it's just what I happen to have. Uh, if you do your own research there's lots of different protection type products around from all the, all the popular manufacturers so uh, you know go with personal choice. Uh, what this is designed to do is to protect the paintwork, uh, give it some protection for probably 6 to 12 months and it's designed to go underneath the, the top wax coat. Uh, so this is quite simple, you wipe it on and, and then buff it off. Uh, so I'm going to give the car uh, an all over protection with this and then we'll go for the, the final top wax. 30 minutes after application, and you can see it's just hazed over there. So all that we need to do is get the microfiber cloth and buff that off, revealing the shine underneath and now the bodywork will be ready for its final top coat of wax. What I'm gonna be using is the uh, Meguiar's Liquid Wax. Again, lots of different products available. This is just, uh, just my preference. So I'm gonna give the car a coat of this and we'll uh, see how the final bodywork comes up. Now the wax is buffed off, we can see the final shine for the car and while certainly not setting any standards in concourse competitions in fact you'd probably be quite disappointed in the car showroom as well but for certainly for a sprint car uh, which is going to have some stickers and various other things on it uh, I think this is certainly more than adequate and uh, will, will look really smart on the sprint tracks next year so uh, I've got to carry on the painting I've got doors to do I've got a fiberglass boot lid and flip front to paint as well but they're going to come up uh, from the same tin of paint so I'm fully expecting the colour match uh, and as that all comes together it's going to look really smart. Uh, in the meantime though painting allows me to move on to the next job so I can begin some of the basic trim fit such as the lights on the back, uh, I can begin to put the dashboard back in. The next big job is going to be to uh, put the windscreen back on.